Hey there, everybody. Hope, it's, hope you're doing great and having a wonderful Sunday. Um, Abdul, here's a little video on how to deal with stress. So first off, I think for a lot of people, understanding that there are um, tendencies to have good stress that motivate you to um, get more. Oftentimes, I think of stress and fear in the same context. Um, there's there's a necessary a need to have a certain amount of it in order to get us to do more. Like So for example, if I'm stressed out over uh, making ends meet, financially, then it's going to make me work harder. Maybe I'll volunteer to get extra um, overtime. It might actually get me to do another job. It might actually have me to do uh, an aside hustle. If I'm afraid or I'm stressful about an exam or not knowing enough or being caught as a fraud, then that, may, might, that, might, make motiv that might motivate me to actually study harder, to learn more, to um, become better as either an employer, employee or an entrepreneur. So the ways that I deal with stress personally, the way that I feel oftentimes is literally I'll physically feel it in my neck, I'll grind my teeth at night. And so for me, I need to exercise um, at least four times a week. Um, I really enjoy the, the opportunity to exercise. And for me, I need to mix it up. That might be running, it might be walking, it might be doing lunges, it might be lifting weights. Um, it might be cycling. And so for me, the physical exertion really helps. I know oftentimes for some people, needing rest is, is, is really important for them. If they don't have a good um, sleeping and uh, arising, you know, waking up time period. Um, another way might be um, physical exercise, uh, meditation. And I don't mean like going into like yoga and going ohm, although there's a lot of value to that. I think just having some separate time. It might be going for a drive. Uh, for like 30 minutes, it might be going for a walk. And again, for oftentimes for people to meditate, no music, nothing. And I find that oftentimes going into nature for a walk can really be quite therapeutic for them. Other people uh, handling stress, talking to someone, being able to just um, express to someone what you're going through. Now, the one thing to understand here is that when you talk to this person, you want them to understand that, that you want you want your opportunity to just unleash, right? You don't want them to judge you. You basically want a vent session for you to be able to just unload everything. And so you need to find the right people that can actually listen and not give you advice coming from their perspective. That can be very difficult. And so sometimes you might need to see like a, a licensed therapist or a licensed um, professional in that ma manner just because they are professional listeners. They really are. Um, and, and oftentimes when they're giving advice, they're trying to help you find the way to be able to, to move to that next step. Um, I think other times when people um, are going through stressful times in their life is to um, is to relax and do something that's fun. So oftentimes Stephen R. Covey called it in Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, um, like sharpen your saw. I think oftentimes for some people it might be like watching TV. It might be going watching a movie. It might be going and playing some basketball. It might be uh, going and hanging out with some friends for for a Friday night and just not 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 being concerned about what you're what you're stressed uh, stressed out with. Um, the other one that I find for some people that um, they have a lot of different things going on in their mind and they're just trying to organize it all and they just feel stress on just uh, all the the things that are that they're dealing with. Sometimes creating a plan and then the next day literally working on that plan. The last thing that I'd say is make sure that in your week, you, you plan something that's totally fun. So that's going to take you away from the stress of life. Um, oftentimes, people don't put that in there. Um, uh, then another one is to be able to serve others. <coughs> By giving of yourself, you're able to find out other opportunities that you can, um, that your life is a little bit better in, in serving others. And the last one I'd say is learn how to say no, because oftentimes it can be really important for you to be able to walk away from the stresses of life. Hope that's helpful.